Good morning. In today's video, I'll teach you how to use and get some of the codes from my favorite website, the W3Schools.com. So let's start. So first, we need to look for the specific tutorial topics from HTML and CSS, JavaScript, server side, data analytics, uh -huh. programming like Python, Java, C, C++, C Sharp, R, Kotlin, Go. So web building, so we have the create a website where to start web templates, st statistics, certificates, web development, code editor, test for typing speed, and a lot more. So we have also the XML tutorials, the, the Ajax, the DOM, the DTD, the schema, XSLT, XPath, and XQuery. So as a beginner, we need to use first the w3.css so assuming we want to look for uh, a design where we can adapt for our web page so we look for the drop down for a menu here are some example of drop down so let's try this one click the try it with yourself button to preview the specific sample codes okay so this is the output and this is the code okay so you can add possible link for this one you can change possible name for that link by editing the codes Example, we need to type here the title. I like this one and then type topics is just title here. Okay, so next the name of the menus. I like this one and type menu menus here menus here and then the link sample about gallery and then maps okay to preview click the run button so as you notice the topics change this one is still the same and the menus are also changed okay to adapt this one so we need to get the entire file then right click and then copy open the dreamweaver And then let's create the HTML tags. Okay, so click the whole view, replace everything from here, Control D, paste, or right click and select paste. Okay, next we need to save it first. Click file and select save as. Okay, so next. So look for a specific folder where you want to save the file. Uh, from here, this is the testing page or this testing folder on the desktop. And we try test1, one. test1.html. One okay, and then press enter. Next, we need to look for the code. So we go back to the browser, we highlight this one, and then right click, copy, paste it on a new tab browser, and then enter. 
so this is the code that we need to save for the page to take to, to, to take the, for the page to take effect for this specific drop down menus so click once control a copy right click copy go back to the dreamweaver and then select new file new blank page html none and click create and then control a and then paste next save it where the html file is located click file and select save as and then from here we can add the css so that is the cascading style sheet file so type my css dot css okay so click save and then go back to the test one.html we replace this one by locating the css file that we downloaded so spacebar href enter and click enter again hit enter look for the css my css click this one and then click ok so save and then let's preview yes save okay so the file already took effect okay so we can now add more buttons from here or we can add more menus from here so to add more go back to the dream waiver highlight this one copy press n key press enter key once paste enter key paste enter key paste and then rename the maps one by one gallery brand a brand a views and lastly topics save click save button and then refresh the page so let's check so it was already added on this menu okay so enjoy watching more videos later thank you